I almost look for failure. Like I almost like seek it out because I know that I can use it as a tool. Because I know that what I can imagine in my head isn't going to be as good as what's going to happen if I just let things happen, you know? My music teacher said, if you sound good when you're practicing, you're not practicing right. You gotta free yourself up to sound bad, you know? And that's the same with design or illustration is when you do have that space to, to, to practice or play, free yourself up to try crazy stuff. An art director told me once, you gotta just do the work that you wanna do. I realized that if I wanna make, you know, gig posters or something, I just gotta go home and, and make some. Because if I wanna do that, I'm not gonna be able to just, you know, wait for somebody to ask me to do it or something, I'm gonna like, all that work. Like every night and weekend, I was like making stuff. We all kind of look at other people and be like, oh, if I was as good as them, and like, why am I doing this? They should be doing this <laughs> kind of stuff. At the beginning of a project, I kind of fight those feelings of fear by doing tons of sketches, <laughs> you know? And it's like, I can overcome my fear of like not being able to figure out the project by thinking about it and working on it a lot. It's hard to play, <laughs> you know? It's like, it's really, a, it's a struggle for sure. It's a lot of discipline to be able to play efficiently. <laughs> You have to practice failing so you know how to react in a moment because then you're on an actual job where people are counting on you and you can't fail. Like, you gotta just do it right. 